Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Wednesday, November the 17th, and welcome to our video commentary. Remember the story about the border agent, the border patrol agent on the horse who was accused of whipping a, a refugee, a Haitian refugee in this particular case? Remember that story and all the publicity that it got? And, you know, it was, uh, you know, people were jumping on this, uh, saying that the agent was beating up this man because of the skin color, that this was racist. I mean, the press secretary, the White House press secretary was talking about it. Uh, the Homeland Security secretary was talking about it. The vice president, the president were talking about it. They were accusing this man without any evidence, just accusing him based on a video or a photo that didn't uh, necessarily tell you anything. Even the photographer came to the defense of the border patrol agent saying he, he wasn't whipping uh, the Haitian refugee. But once again, we see how situations like those are jumped on by the race hustlers and by people who are just trying to look at the racial angle in everything. Well, it turns out that the Department of Home, uh, Homeland Security is not going to continue this case. They're not gonna prosecute the the Border Patrol agent because he didn't do anything wrong. Now, what really bothers me, and I think should bother everybody, and especially should bother the men and women who work in the Border Patrol service, what should really bother everybody is that the White House is not publicly apologizing to this man, or that no one seems to be apologizing to him for accusing him of whipping somebody because of the color of his race. That is just outrageous, irresponsible, but you know, that's what happens. And that's what happens, unfortunately, in our society today. And the media coverage doesn't help it because a lot of the media were basically repeating the same thing that many of the irresponsible Democrats uh, were saying. So this man needs an apology. And, uh, you know, one thing that would help President Biden's ratings would be for him to apologize on behalf of the country to this man who was simply doing his job was being accused of being a racist when he was simply doing his job. So, Mr. President, apologize to the agent. I think that uh, you'll be better for it. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.